there is no flash on the iPad. So, uh, like that. to invisible storage like I said before on the ASUS <clears throat> you can you're gonna I'm, I have the keyboard on its way so that should be coming shortly um, and it's just really highly customizable with um, the ASUS now what's not so good I've been talking about it, the Wi-Fi connectivity, it's not great. Um, when Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are on, again, it, it works even worse than it does when it works by itself. Um, video playback bug be when switching between orientations. And the uh, device doesn't see ad hoc hotspots, so you're not just going to be able to jump onto any hotspot. Um, and uh, the Super Note uh capacity is easily read so even though it's really cool you can't write much with it now uh this review was focused on the um asus so just a little bit about the ipad what's good about it it's very easy to use great reliability great functionality all the software and hardware work seamlessly together um it's conspicuous home button make it easy to navigate uh, back to the home screen super fast Wi-Fi connectivity um, seamless Wi-Fi and Bluetooth interface and uh, no surprises about what you lack and what you get with um, the iPad what's not so good about the iPad um, no internal um, internally expandable storage no HDMI out and no Gorilla Glass so it's a cookie cutter um, interaction that you'll get with the iPad but you know what you get it's a pretty nice cookie so if you're willing to go for that then I'm sure you'll be happy with it so there you have it that's uh, my review of the Asus ePad Transformer Prime and the Apple iPad 2. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, if you like what you see, click the like button. Thanks.